six to 21. Rematch San Diego Holiday Bowl, Jake Locker's final game for you, Dub. And I'll tell you what, Coach Nick Holt's defense put it on the Huskers. That was Victor Ayewu with the hit and Alameda Tamu with the pickup. Washington defense came to play. Ensuing possession, Coach Sark getting tricky. Locker tosses right, running back Jesse Collier passes back to Locker for the first down, tackled inside the five yard. I think Locker ha had a catch before he even had a completion in this game. He didn't throw the ball that well. Chris Polk ran it real well. 177 yards on the day. Washington up seven nothing. Second quarter, 10-7. Dogs. Locker out of the pocket. This kid has led with his head forever there, and it hurts him on that play. Take another look. Helmet to helmet with Austin Cassidy from Big Red. Locker would leave. He would return. Washington, 10-7 lead at the half, and Locker's got no completions. Third quarter. Here he comes, because he is a dude. Locker to DeAndre Goodwin. 26-yard game. That's his first completion of the game, and we're a minute and a half into the second half. Next play, Locker reading the edge rusher. Dijon Gomes bites down on the run. Locker keeps it. 25 yards. Washington goes on to win. 19 to 7. Big night for the Pack. with the win over SMU in the Armed Forces Bowl. On SMU's home field, but it's the Armed Forces Bowl. So that, that's a wash. First quarter, no score. Second to fourth for SMU. Kyle Padron. Bartender shot up Padron. Uh, yeah, but he spilled it. Oh, no. Josh McNary recovers and returns at 55 yards for the touchdown. SMU turned the ball over three times in the game. Third quarter, SMU down 16-0. Padron to Aldrick Robinson. Robinson's eighth consecutive game with a touchdown catch is 16-7. Got a ball game. Fourth quarter, Padron. 28-yard touchdown pass to Darius Johnson. SMU cuts it to 16-14. Less than five minutes to go, SMU. They're going to make a field goal, take the lead. Matt Zemanski misses it wide left. Second missed field goal of the game. Army never gave the ball back. You know, they like to keep boots on the ground, running that option. But Trent Steelman throws it. Only a second completion of the game. Black Knights go out winners in this game. And the state, we begin with its bowl game against Syracuse at the new Yankee Stadium. First bowl game in New York in 48 years. The heat from this game melting any of that East Coast snow that was left. First quarter, K-State 7-0. Syracuse going to go flea flicker. Ryan Nassib. Deep pass to Marcus Sales for the touchdown. Take another look. K-State defense going to bite on the flea flicker. The back judge almost breaks up the play. And he had he succeeded, Coach Schneider might have offered him a scholarship. <laughs> he didn't. We're tied at seven. Let's go second quarter. Still tied. All right, Antoine Bailey. He does it all for the orange. And, oh, including that. The Seabs uh, find Sales. Another touchdown. Syracuse up seven. We go third quarter. Q's 27-21, because they missed the PAT. K-State goes to the funny stuff. Direct step to Daniel Thomas. Back to the quarterback, Carson Kaufman. So K-State inside the 20, later in that drive, fourth and goal. Thomas, option pitch, touchdown. Thomas, three touchdowns, K-State up a point. Let's go back to Syracuse. They answer right back on a first and 10. Nasib deep over the middle to Sales. Sales, who's from Syracuse, three touchdowns on the day. He only had one during the regular season. They missed the two. Coach Schneider goes back to the trickeration. Flea flicker. Kaufman to Aubrey Quarles. Big game. And now they've got a fourth and five from the 11. And Coach goes for the fake field goal. He said he later regretted it. He had to have figured Syracuse would go for the block. They didn't. They played it safe. K-State turns it over on downs. Next Syracuse play. I mean the next one. Carter. Elon oh. Carter. Fifth-year senior, he's battled hip injuries. He goes 61 yards here. 198 yards, two touchdowns. This would lead to a field goal, made it 36-28. Okay, final two minutes. Uh, here's the play that everybody's talking about. Adrian Hilburn's gonna score. And then he's gonna get a penalty for excessive celebration. The excessive celebration is this. That, right there, that was it. 15 yards, so instead of a game-tying two-pointer from about the two-yard line, they have to go back to about the 17-yard line, and it's, no. Oh, that oh. is a tough one. K-State gonna go onside kick and recover. Uh, but the kick didn't go 10 yards. Syracuse gonna take over, take a knee. Orange gonna get their first postseason victory since 2001, 36-34. What an inaugural pinstripe bowl.
in this one. Little apple outdone by the orange in the big apple. Now the question on my mind. Yeah. If a kid on the Navy, Army, or Air Force football teams salutes the crowd after scoring a touchdown like that kid did, does that gesture get flagged for excessive celebration? That's a great question. I'd hope not. This came in 7-5. and five. Tennessee won its last four games to get to 6-6. Six and six. Whole lot of Tennessee there. Not a whole lot of North Carolina. Not hard to travel well. You don't have to travel far. 5-16 to go. Tennessee up 20-17. to 17, Following a touchdown. Daniel Lincoln misses the extra point. So it's still a three-point game. 31 seconds left in the fourth. North Carolina driving. T.J. Yates to Todd Harrelson. 15 more for the defender for launching himself. So... North Carolina's in business. 16 seconds to go there on the Tennessee 25. No timeouts up. Running play. Sean Drone taken down at the 18. So now North Carolina's got to hurry to the line. No timeouts. They got to get up there and spike it. Five seconds to go. What are they doing? Spike it. They're going to lose it. I think there's a second left. Here's the call. The game is over. Oh, it's done. The offensive team had more than 11 players on the field. It's a five-yard penalty. However, the ball was snapped, and it hit the ground with one second. That is a great shot. We counted. There were 18 players on the field for North Carolina at one point. Every North Carolina athlete since Brad Doherty was on the field. So Casey Bartlett's got a chance. It left him with a 38-yard field goal with a five-yard penalty. He nails it. So it's 20 apiece. They go to overtime, and Derek Dooley can't believe it. First overtime. Tennessee down 27-20. Tyler Bray, Luke Stocker. Look at that grab. 27 apiece. They go to a second overtime. No excessive celebration there. Second overtime, Tennessee with the ball. They got it first. Bray intercepted by Quan Sturdivant. Crazy season for North Carolina. Why not a crazy ending? A chance to win. Barth delivers again. And North Carolina takes it 30-27. to 27. Butch Davis said ESPN Classic will be showing this game 100 years. From Both teams still ranked in the top 25 heading into this game. Both considered programs on the upswing heading into next year. Let's get it on. Early first quarter, scoreless Stephen Garcia to Marcus Lattimore. And Greg Reed gets up close and personal with Lattimore. He coughs it up. It's picked up by Kendall Smith. He takes it 46 yards. Seminoles force five turnovers. Reed just crushes Lattimore. A clean hit. Shoulder on the ball. Lattimore would leave the game and didn't return. Second quarter, Florida State driving. Up 6-0 on the 11-yard line. Christian Ponder feels the pressure, takes off on third and nine. And he takes a big pop. Just short of the first down. Very next play on fourth and one. Ponder. It's got Lonnie Pryor wide open, but you, you have to wonder if the hit had something to do with that throw because he had nothing on it. Turnover on downs. He would leave the game with a concussion. Third quarter. South Carolina down 16-3. Garcia going to Ace Sanders. And how many bowl games do you see trick plays? Seems like every one, and they seem to always work. The head ball coach made that one work. South Carolina within six. Fourth quarter. South Carolina trailing 19-10. Brian Maddox, Lattimore's replacement, up the middle, into the end zone. His fullback, Patrick DeMarco, made the block. And I don't know if you want to thank him with a headbutt with no helmet on. Later in the fourth quarter, Florida State looking to put it away. E.J. Manuel, who's Ponder's replacement, finds Taiwan Easterling. Florida State takes it. Jimbo Fisher wins his first bowl game in his first season as head coach. The Knowles are on the rise. And after the game, Fisher spoke with Janine Edwards. They've got a little history. So we went into the history books. Actually, we went back to Bristol. Lou Holtz, your thoughts. And from Dr. Lou to Wonder Doctor, first quarter, Tommy Reese, Michael Floyd, 35 yards. Tell you what, the freshman quarterback, Reese, had himself a day later in the drive from the three. Reese, Floyd, never change a win or take another look. Check out Tyler Eifert, the tight end. <laughs> Knocking fellas down. <laughs> Notre Dame up 7 nothing before more than 50,000, 54,000 people. A Sun Bowl record, 34 degrees out. Man, most of them were Notre Dame fans, and Notre Dame put on a show. It's Reese over the top to Floyd again. Floyd, six catches, 109 yards, 14 nothing. Floyd's 28th career touchdown catch. That's a Notre Dame record. Ja'Cory Harris got in the ballgame. Probably wishes he hadn't. 
Trying to get something started. That's not getting anything started. Harrison Smith, the pick, and the ensuing Notre Dame drive. Sierra Wood takes the pitch, and there's only one person who carries the ball right here, and it's Wood. Notre Dame in the end zone on three of its first four possessions, 21-0. Next Miami drive, Harris dropping back, and, well, he loves throwing it to Smith, who had three picks. Notre Dame, 33 at 6-6. Six six. Hey, there's Russ the Russ! Bulldog, Neil. Russ, how's it? Russ filling in, uh, filling in for Ugga 8, who's a little bit under the weather. Russ, Russ has filled in before, though. Uh, both teams struggling early with mistakes. Quincy McDuffie, second in the nation in yards per kickoff return. Uh, I don't know if they saw the scouting report. He goes 98 yards for the touchdown, but wait a minute. Central Florida called for a holding on the return. Touchdown, no good. Central Florida would be forced to punt later in the drive. Late second quarter after an interception, Aaron Murray picked off by Josh Lynham. Murray's second interception of the half led to a Central Florida field goal. Go fourth quarter now. Tight game, UCF down 6-3, Latavius Murray. Touchdown, 10-6, Knights, less than two minutes to play, fourth and eight for Georgia, Aaron Murray to A.J. Green. 14 yards over the middle for the first down, you wonder what the season might have been like for Georgia if Green had been available early in the season. Eight catches, 77 yards, possibly his last college game. Aaron Murray, Chris Durham makes the catch for 30 yards. First down to UCF, 29. Later in the drive, two seconds to go. One more play for Georgia. Murray. Tom Jackson would tell him, knock it down. That's what they did. Central Florida wins a 10-6. First bowl win in school history, Georgia. Well, it's the Meineke Bowl, Clemson in South Florida. Clemson, a 6-6 six six squad in a bowl game. Down 17-6. Kyle Parker stopped at the one, hit hard. Broken ribs. Well, this is a kid who came back, but he was a first-round draft pick by the Rockies. Come back, play his senior year. It did not go as he planned. Let's pick it up in the fourth quarter, because he's done in this game. Jacquez Jenkins with a pick for South Florida, and B.J. Daniels is going to turn that into a... Bootleg touchdown. Daniels, 19 to 26, 188 yards, two touchdowns. The Russian touchdown, it's 31 13. But then Taj Boyd, that's Parker's backup with about two minutes left to Brandon Ford. It's 31 19. Ensuing kickoff, Clemson going to go onside. And Richard Jackson is going to recover it. Ball moved to the 28 because of a South Florida personal foul, and then the ensuing drive, first and goal. Boyd to Ford, review it. Ford catches the ball, possesses it, knee hits the ground, <clears throat> then the ball comes out, so as the call is overturned, it's a touchdown, Clemson down 31-26. What an ending this game. Ensuing kickoff, Clemson gonna go onside again. Andre McDaniel gets the ball. But he touches it. We saw K-State at the end of their game on Thursday. Same thing. They recovered it early. USF wins 31.